Hello friends, this video on organisms and their surroundings part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us try to see what exactly is asexual reproduction. So this is the act mode of reproduction in which new individuals are formed from a single parent. Now this is the most important thing here. That here new organisms are formed from one parent. Like in case of human beings, there are always two parents involved. That is mother and father. And then two of them together will be able to produce a new organism. That is a new baby. But in case of asexual reproduction, only one parent is sufficient. That means one organism can itself produce a new organism. And in this case, the new individuals are exactly identical to the parent. And these type of individuals are said to be clones because they are exactly identical. Now again, let's try to compare it with human beings. In human beings, we have sexual mode of reproduction. So there we have two parents, mother and father, and also the new individual that is formed, that is the son or the daughter. So the son or the daughter does not resemble the parents exactly. Now the child might have certain features of mother, the child might also have certain other features of the father, but it is not going to be exact identical to them. Right? But in case of asexual reproduction, the new individuals which are formed, they are exactly identical to the parent. So this is also a faster mode of reproduction, like sexual reproduction takes some time and at once not too many uh, new organisms are formed. But in this case, it, it is a faster mode, very quickly more and more organisms are being formed. So this type of reproduction is generally seen in the lower organisms like bacteria, amoeba, the unicellular organisms, organisms which are made up of one cell. So the very lower level organisms. It is also seen in plants like potato, onion, rose. So in most of the plants, asexual mode of reproduction works. Now some of the examples of in asexual reproduction also there are many different types of asexual reproduction. So let us discuss few examples of asexual reproduction. So cutting is one example where a plant part is cut from the parent and then put into the soil which later gives rise to a new plant. Now this is a very common thing which happens with rose plant. Now in case you have a rose plant in your garden or if you don't have it and if there is a rose plant in your neighbor's garden, what you can do is you can just cut a stem of the plant and then plant it in a pot in your garden and over a period of time you will see that it gives rise to a new plant. So basically what happened? A stem which was cut from an existing plant was capable of giving rise to a new plant. So this is called stem cutting. Now stem cutting helps in case of rose, sugar cane, these plants. Uh, root cutting helps. In certain plants if you cut the root and then plant it in a separate pot, that plant rises. So that's very commonly done in Dahlia where the roots are capable of giving rise to a new plant. So basically the process cutting is cutting means that you cut a part of the plant and then you plant it in a separate pot. So you will get a separate plant. So what is happening? It is actually reproduction because you are producing new plants of similar types. And this is asexual mode because you do not need a male and a female parent. You just need stem of any plant. So it doesn't matter whether it is male or female. So here uh, you do not need to separate sexes. Again, another such technique of uh, asexual reproduction is layering. So in layering, new plants are formed from stems of parent plant without detaching them initially from the parent. Like in case of cutting, we cut a part of the plant. So that means we cut a stem of the plant. So we separate a stem of the plant from the original plant. But in case of layering, obviously new plants are formed from stems of parent plant but here the stems are not detached initially from the parent. That means let us, let's, let's talk about the process in little more detail and there are two types of layering that is mound layering and air layering. So we will discuss about them a little later. Now the plants which are grown by this method are strawberry, guava, lemon, china, rose. So these are commonly grown by this method of layering. Now let's see what exactly do we do. So let's first talk about mound layering. Now what do you understand looking at this picture? So this was your original plant. So you take a branch of the plant and then forcefully you bring it down and put it below the soil. 
and then you cover it well with the soil and then what happens over a period of time you see that it starts growing in this fashion and finally it gives rise to a new plant so this is called mound layering so what we did we did not separate this branch from this plant like how we did in case of cutting so we did not separate it it is still attached to the parent plant but still over a period of time it gradually grows to become a new plant altogether so this type of process is called mound layering and what is air layering in air layering what we do is we take a part of the plant cover it with a uh, i mean we cover it with a cloth put a we make sure that the cloth is wet enough so we cover that part with a wet cloth okay and then what we do over a period of time we see that roots start developing from that part so what's actually happening now since we have kind of bandaged a particular part of the branch so that part is getting with with a layer of soil and some water so basically that part is receiving all the nutrients that it need that is needed for a plant to grow so gradually roots start to develop and then when it grows when it grows a little bit then you cut that branch and then you separate it so that means in the initial stage here also we did not separate it from the parent plant so it stayed attached it stayed attached with the parent plant but the moment it started growing it became little bit then we separated it so we got a new plant so the layering techniques they these are all uh, you know like when we talk about asexual reproduction now asexual reproduction can happen naturally they can also happen artificially that means we forcefully make them happen so these are all examples of artificial asexual reproduction whether we talk about layering or we talk about cutting these are all artificial methods that is we do it it doesn't happen with the plant naturally like for air layering we need to put that bandage of soil and water to the plant similarly for cutting we need to cut a branch of the plant so basically these are all artificial methods but these are yes examples of asexual reproduction again grafting is another very common example of uh, in a, in fact a very common technique of asexual reproduction now here what we do is stems are cut from two different plants and they are attached to grow as a single plant now this technique is very beneficial when we want to combine the positives of two different plants so let us say there is one plant which gives us yellow flowers there is another plant which gives us red flowers and if we think that if we can combine both the plants together we can get flowers which are like red and yellow mix so whenever we want these kind of traits we want some positive traits of one plant and some positive traits of the other plant so what we do so we cut parts of both the plants and then we join the two parts together so that they grow as a single plant and that is called grafting so here also we are growing a new plant so basically it is also reproduction so what happens we take the part of two different plants so let's say this is taken from plant 1 this is taken from plant 2 and then what we do they are put together and then this part is very tightly tied so that they remain together they remain attached together and then we keep watering the plant keep keep giving it appropriate sunlight and everything and then we see that over a period of time this grows as a single plant now the most important advantage of this technique is that it improves the quality of certain plants because as i said let's say there is a plant which gives good flowers the flowers they, their fragrance is good their look is good but let's say they are very small in size so what you can do is you can try this grafting technique where you take some part of this plant and some part of another flower another plant which gives bigger flowers and then you try to combine the two by this technique so what happens your the demerit of the plant can be overcome so it, it improves the overall quality of the plant now this is a very common technique which often often happens with these kind of plants like many people try to combine traits of lemon and oranges so you take one stem from lemon you take a stem from orange and then you try to combine the two and grow them as one plant so these are all techniques where we see that new plants are formed from one single plant so that is why these are all asexual reproduction thank you please visit www.examfeo.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.